Hi, within this section we are going to focus on finding some passive information, gathering passive information, so doing reconnaissance as I explained before. So we are going to use Malt Eagle one more time like we did in the social engineering section. If you missed the social engineering section for some reason and if you missed the usage of Malt Eagle, it really doesn't matter because I will show you how to install it and how to use it one more time. So open your Kali Linux, you can click here to open Multigo. If the Multigo is not installed on your Kali Linux, you can always run apt get install Multigo C in order to get the Multigo, okay? It will install it and then you can search this within applications or it will appear in here you can start it by clicking on this icon so once you open it it will ask you for your sign up information like create a username or a password please do that if you don't do that uh, it won't work properly after you do that we're going to create our first project and start gathering information from a certain real website so after you log in you have to create a new graph and we have seen Multigo before I'm not going to spend much time explaining it one more time because it won't be fair to the people who watch the social engineering section all you have to do is just click on this button and create a new graph so after you create a graph drag this website entity to your graph okay and actually we have done this before maybe you remember you have to click on this entity and change the target website so I'm going to use a website called travelersgifts.com maybe you can do this for other websites as well because we're not going to do anything harmful in this lesson and you can do this with travelersgifts.com or you can do this with unicornitems.com all these websites belong to me I use them for test purposes and after doing that you can click here to all transforms in order to start this gathering information process in Multigo and as before once we start getting results it will appear on the graph with arrow connections like this so we already have the domain name and we already have the IP address and we will get much more information as before so we're getting some domains and maybe some subdomains and don't worry by the way we will use other tools rather than Multigo and you know how to run Multigo but this is just a refreshment video just think of this like that and we're going to learn how to use online tools as well in the following lectures in order to get some different information from what we got in Multigo so here now we have the overview and we have our graph let me start exploring these results and try to see if we have anything useful that we can later use in our penetration testing so if you drag this a little bit left we can start from the beginning okay so let me zoom in a little bit actually so we can see it better now as you can see we have the IP address we have the domain name we already had it and let me go up a little bit so this is the website itself so let me see what else do we got here rather than IP address uh, maybe you can try to get some more information from IP address as well later on we will see how to do that because in the same IP address in the same server there might be more than one website right so even if you cannot find any vulnerability on travelersgifts.com you can find some other vulnerabilities in other websites on the same IP address so if you manage to hack 
some of the other websites, then you can hack into the travelersgifts.com as well. Later on, we will see how to do that. So in here, we have a Google API usage. So this website uses maps.googleAPIs. So it uh, definitely has some maps built in. So let me browse a little bit, okay. So we have this plugin, Scurly plugin. So maybe we can try to Google this plugin and see what it does. And if this plugin has a certain vulnerability, we should try to penetrate into that via that plugin. Here we have SWORK. This uh, most probably uses WordPress. And as you can see, it actually uses the WordPress.org. So we know this is a WordPress website. And I don't think we have any more useful information, but I believe this is enough for right now because you know this is a WordPress and this uses some certain plugins. You can search for that. For example, if you can get the WordPress version of this website, you can search and see if WordPress has a vulnerability in that specific version. In fact, since most of the websites use WordPress, we can find a lot of databases regarding WordPress vulnerabilities online. So you can easily see which version has which vulnerabilities and how you can find an exploit for them easily by Googling it out. And hackers actually dig in WordPress. They really try hard to get into the WordPress because right now I believe like 60 or 70% of the websites in the world uses WordPress. So um, we have a WordPress scan as well built in the Kali Linux, but I'm not going to deal with that. Rather, I'm going to show you uh, what you can find online by simply Googling out the results for WordPress vulnerabilities. So let me open my Firefox browser in my Kali Linux. Of course, you can do that from your host machine as well, since we are not going to use any tools rather than online search here. So this is WordPress exploit search. And as you can see, we have millions of results. So we have an exploit database uh, result in here, and we have a lot of exploit database results usually and most of them are related to WordPress as you can see if you click on one of them we have an uh, injection in here in exploit database and this is how an exploit is coded actually and we have a lot of other WordPress vulnerabilities in here as well you can see the details and you can see the versions related to that exploit in here so I'm going to stop here because I just wanted to show you how you can use Multigo to gather general information about a target website and you have to do it before you go on and test some vulnerabilities and some exploits on a website. And we're going to see other ways of gathering information, other ways, other means of reconnaissance in the next lectures.